why? Why have you clicked this video? Why am I making this video? Why am I doing this at rush hour traffic? You, you know what? Let's just roll the intro and get into today's video. What's going on YouTube? R2R Moto here. Before we get into today's video, I'm gonna ask you guys a quick little question. And that question is, when you guys are on the highway, let's just say the speed limit is 65 miles an hour, how fast are you guys going? Me personally, I usually like to go around, I'd say 70 to 75 miles an hour, or more so 75 to 80 miles an hour if the speed limit's 65. That way, if I see a cop or something, I can actually slow down and hit about 70 and hope that the cop isn't having a bad day and won't pull me over for going five over the speed limit. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments how fast you guys usually go when it comes to the speed limit. Because I would argue to say that majority of us here aren't going to be doing the speed limit. And uh, that especially reigns true for today because I'm definitely not going to be going the speed limit because I'll be going under the speed limit. We are going to put this bike to the test on the highway and I quite honestly am nervous about it. If you guys watched my top speed of this bike video, you would see that I actually hit around 63 miles an hour. I actually hit 64 as well one time. And with these bikes, with the speedo being off slightly on these bikes, I actually hit really about 60 miles an hour, like 59 miles an hour. And uh, the speed limit of the highway that we are about to get onto is actually, are you gonna stop? You are gonna stop. It's actually, 65 miles an hour so it's a speed that we haven't even hit on this bike yet this can either go really well or really bad really well can be the highway is completely empty that won't happen because it's rush hour traffic but you know we might get lucky also we could find like a prius driver or an old lady driving and uh stick behind them because usually stereotype and they go under the speed limit and if they're doing under the speed limit i'm fine with doing under the speed limit right behind them worst case scenario however though if we end up getting behind or in front of i should say really fast cars even in the right lane then we could get cars honking at me some road rage possibly which hopefully doesn't happen but even though if it does happen throw it up on moto madness you, you know what no i don't even want to think about it i don't even want to think like that i don't want a moto madness video right now because they, they're never good unless you're doing something where you're like handing out roses or rescuing turtles off the side of the road you're never on moto madness for a good reason all right it's the moment of truth time Let's try to get as fast as we can in third. All right, I am already nervous and I'm not even on the highway yet. Oh boy, there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic and the bike is not gaining speed like I wanted it to. We're at 56. Is there a car behind me? There's not, but there sure as hell will be in a second. All right, we gotta tuck in because we're not even going the speed limit, boys. Oh boy. This is the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. But uh, while I am tucked in and doing this speed test, which I'm currently only doing 62 and a 65, I'm gonna talk about why I'm actually doing this video. And it's because one, I often get asked, how fast can the Z actually go? Which I answered in its own video. But then I often get asked, is this bike a good bike for beginners? And when I actually get that question, I say, it is for around the town, but where it doesn't shine is it's not gonna shine in traffic. And by traffic, I usually mean the highway. And as you can see right there, we're getting past, we're only hitting 61 miles an hour, 62. This is not even the fastest I've ever been on this bike, but then again, we're also on a, uh, on a very straight road. Oh boy, we're at 61, 60. I really hope there's no cops on this road because they will pull me over immediately for not going the speed limit. There's no cars behind me, luckily. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. I see brake lights up there as well. I'm getting passed by everybody. I need somebody. Like, where? why is every time I hop on the highway, there's like a ton of slow cars, but today there's none at all. Oh, people got to be either laughing at me or hating me right now. I can't even tell if there's somebody behind me because I'm tucked and if I untuck, I'll be going too slow. 
But yeah, like I said before, I always get asked if this bike is a good bike for beginners. And I tell them, pretty much you don't want to take this bike on the highway. For exact reasons that I'm doing it right now. This bike can do the highway, I'm learning, right in front of your very eyes. But I will never do this ever again. Now if I need to do it, which we're actually hitting a downhill, so I'm finally going 65. But as I said before, that means we're only going like 61. Like I said though, I will never try to do this again. If I have to, maybe I'll do it. Like if I if I absolutely have to take the highway and I don't have any of my other bikes, I'll do it. Or if I don't have my car, but it's gonna be painful and nerve wracking. I have not gotten close to a car or past the car yet. Oh, I also see brake lights up ahead, which doesn't make me happy actually because while this bike is slow in itself, there's no cars behind me, I don't trust the brakes going this fast. And also, I picked the worst highway and the only highway really that I can actually do this on for longer than a minute. And I didn't want to cheat you guys out of actually seeing how this bike would handle on the highway. Oh, we're hitting red line. We hit red line at 66, 67 miles an hour because we're actually on a downhill. Which doesn't make me happy because that's still the speed limit. And I forgot to mention that my bike is completely stock. If you have a completely stock Honda Grom or Z125. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. I already feel the wind. This is not good. I don't like this at all. The wind just got worse than it already was. But like I was saying, if you guys have a Honda Grom or a Z125 Pro, this is an experience that I would say, try it one time, hopefully on a smaller highway or a shorter highway than I'm currently on, but then never do it ever again. Unless your bike is not stock, maybe you have a big board kit on it, you've changed the sprockets and you can actually hit like 70 miles an hour, then I'd say go for it. But otherwise, I'm never doing this again on this bike. And well, now we're about to get off the highway and my pain is finally over. Oh, I'm going to sit up for a second. Oh, there's a car behind me too. I have been full throttle this entire time and we just actually hit 600 miles on the bike. So there goes that break-in service. Sorry, little bike. Luckily for me though, I've already changed the oil once on this bike. So we're gonna actually start doing that on it again because I've put it through hell for the last 300 miles of this service. But anyway, like I said before, doing this video mainly because I've been asked, is this bike good for beginners in all type of situations? And I always say that it's not good if you're trying to do highways or you gotta do anything in traffic. And it really is not, at least for me seeing this now, if you're gonna do that and you need to do highways and this is the only bike you can afford to get, make sure you save some money to actually change out your sprockets. Maybe do like a big bore kit on it or something like that. If you need to take this bike on the highway. But anyway, like I said, never doing this test ever again. Hopefully the camera didn't freeze or anything on me because if it did, this video is done and I am not coming back to it. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to see more content in the future. And until next time, I'm going to have PTSD for this experience. Peace.